Brandon. <clears throat> Sometimes little girls and women envision their wedding dress. What it would be like, what wedding dress they would wear, even where they would actually get married. A man who finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. It is God's favor that has kept us through all the trials and tribulations we have endured. Today solidifies his will. On this day, I stand here in front of you, and I'm so blessed and so happy that I never took away from this moment by envisioning a fantasy because this is greater than that. I stand before you as your soon-to-be wife, as an imperfect woman, a woman that's gonna make mistakes. You may say, Sky, why, why did you have to go there? Why did you have to say that? My response to you is honesty, truth which is my promise. Change me, oh God. Make me more. I vow today to support and push you to be your best. I vow to communicate by listening first to ensure that my words help to build a stronger understanding between us. I promise that I will take the lead and keep in prayer a part of our routine. I am going to promise to be truthful, transparent, even though at times you may not want to hear it. I'm going to promise to grow with you, grow together with communication, because transparency and communication is how couples don't grow apart. I vow that I'm going to make many mistakes and potentially make you very upset at times. However, we are two human beings with imperfection. We're prone to it. We're prone to be defective. But with God, who is very perfect, we are well equipped to have a perfect marriage. Just create in me a clear heart so that I God blessed me when he brought you into my life because he taught me that true love is something you have to be willing to fight for. I look forward to all that life has to offer and whatever comes our way. Does anybody out there need the Lord to change something about you? Change. Whatever's not like you, Lord, I want you to. Do it for me, Lord. I dare you to just put your hands on yourself. As your wife, it will be my responsibility to always be cognizant of that and to seek God in everything that we do, to build that constant connection. I vow to stand tall with you. I vow to always be by your side as your queen, as the epitome of beauty and power in this marriage because a man of your stature deserves nothing less. I know God has blessed me with the perfect teammate.
best friend and I would be on the same line and he'll be my front and I'll be his back. And that's your back. It is your job to take care of your front. That's right. And the ultimate rule is that no one breaks your line because you are to protect him. But today, I can say, I can break his line for you, Scott. Oh, wow. You know, it's been it's been a long it's been a long time, long ride. Um, just keep growing, keep loving the person that you, the people that you are today are not going to be the people that you are two years from now, five years from now. You have to continue to grow with each other and grow in each other's love. Because things change, times change, but what won't change is the love that you guys have for each other at this moment, right now, forever. So, to the bride and groom, love lasts forever. Cheers. Soul in the fire, but we keep going higher, higher, higher. Oh Lord, can you feel it? My shoes is great in the sky. I'm so high. We keep going high.